Today we are going to take an in-depth look at one of the key features of Zerto Virtual Replication, which enables you to protect your applications, not just your data. So the Virtual Protection Group is really what delivers application protection. You can group together the various VMs that are supporting your mission critical application. So for example, your database server, your web server, and your application server will be in one group and your BCDR policies will be applied consistently regardless of which server or storage they're on. This feature also really unleashes the power of virtualization as you're able to take advantage of some of the advanced features within VMware like storage remotion, DRS, vApp, etc., which you normally have to turn off with something like an array-based solution. So you really get all the benefits of virtualization with Zerto Virtual Replication. So let's take a look at the software. You can see it plugs right into VMware vCenter. And here you see we have two sites, New York and Las Vegas. And this just gives you an overview of the environment. So we are going to select a VM to create a virtual protection group. And we select Marketing 1. And we see that the software tells us it's not in a virtual protection group. So we can add it or create a new virtual protection group. And we'll create a new one. As this is a marketing application, we will just name it marketing application. And then we select the priority, which is the priority in terms of the network requirements. So we can select high, medium, or low. We'll select medium for this application. Then we look at the RPO objective. So how much data are we willing to lose? And we're going to select four minutes. And then we can look at the journal continuous data protection history. This is how much how many of the transactions we would like to keep a recording of. This could be up to five days. We'll select 24 hours. And we can also select how often we would like to test this environment. And we will select six months. We'll leave WAN compression on. And the target site will be Las Vegas. So now we look at the host that we want to fail over to. Simply select the Las Vegas cluster the data store, and then the failover network. So do we want to fail over to the production network or bubble network? We'll select production network in the event of a disaster. And then we can select the test network, which we've named bubble network, when we want to test the recovery process and make sure it's working correctly. So now that we've created the VPG, we can add a VM to this group. And we're going to select marketing too. Now you can see we have both and we can add something called a boot order. So here you can see the default is the order of the, v the VMs that we added to the VPG. But the Marketing 2 VM is actually a database server, so we might want to have that boot up before the application server. So we just create a folder for the database VM. And we'll move Marketing 2 into that folder. And then we just reorder the folders so that we get the order that we want. So now the database VM will boot up before the marketing, before the marketing application VM. And we can put a delay in there. We'll put in a delay of about 10 seconds. And so now the database server will boot up and give a quick delay before the application server boots up. We can also add in scripts for maybe IP reconfiguration. We just hit save, and now the VPG is being created. And it's really that simple to create a protection group. Thank you for spending some time today with Zerto. For more information, you can go to our website. Thanks so much.